<laughs> oh, so glad that one wasn't online. It was just set in time. Just set in time. <laughs> hey, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of BDU. You have the Rhino. We have uh, we have the artist formerly known as Berserker. We yeah. have Chet. We have Daniel, who is also known as BoozReviews.ca, among other things. I swear I should get you to do my jingle one of these days. Um, anyone drinking anything, or is it just going to be me? Oh, I'm drinking. Oh, look at who's here. Oh, um, <laughs> bitch. Um, I'm going to be starting my night off. Well, I'm going to see what you guys are drinking, but I'm going to be starting my night off with, uh, with the Sleeping Steeped Coffee Gale. Oh, I almost, look at I almost bought the pack uh, that that contained, but uh, I was hoping someone else would try it first. So I didn't have a two for a Sleeman beer that I didn't want. Oh no, I bought a twelve pack. Okay. Yeah, and I guess it was a twelve. Jamie, pack. you did confuse me. I thought I thought you were Beerzerker. <laughs> I in spirit am Beerzerker. <laughs> He's my spirit animal. I'm just I'm just waiting to see if he actually joins tonight and then we have that avatar twice. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pull a rhino and uh, choose one through five. Choose a number. Four. Pick a number. Four. All right. I have a bunch of Wellington beers, so I have the uh, Wellington mix pack number five. And you guys chose Candle Burner Coffee IPA. That's not a bad beer. Uh, how about you, Daniel? What are you drinking? Right now, I'm having from Twin Sales. I know, big surprise. The Two Straws uh, Strawberry Milkshake IPA. Nice. Nice. Drunken one? Um, actually, I was working on a homemade wine from way gone by. It turned out pretty clear. But uh, the only other thing I've got that's in uh, that's mass produced is I got a St. Arnold's Oktoberfest. Yeah. One of those. And Chet's here, but he's uh, he's silenced. So <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, um, silence because my phone, and I just don't want it to um, 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 echo. A communications major that's silenced. What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, uh, I have the um, uh, Lindbrook Raspberry Berliner Weisse from uh, Distill Brewery. It's part of their Wild Sour series that I was introduced to, and I can't get enough of sour beers. That actually sounds good. What, uh, what was the brewery? I didn't catch that. Distillery Brewery, I think he said. Yeah, Distill. D E S T I H L. Mm. Out of uh, Illinois. <laughs> Which made. Well, <laughs> every time I see Illinois. Wait, no, wait. No, Missouri's St. Louis. What the fuck am I thinking? <laughs> So, uh, but every time I see like a uh, Midwest state, I'll. Is that similar, similar to a uh, what do you call it? There's a brand, uh, tool brand, steel, S T I H L, isn't it? Yeah, yeah they do. Uh, well, they mostly do chainsaws and shit. Chainsaws, yeah. yes. Blowers Just, and chainsaws. Uh, my buddy, my buddy Lee has the biggest chainsaw they produce, and he's the only person in Canada that owns one. It's an eight foot chainsaw. Wow. Right. Yeah, he he mills wood with that chainsaw. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, and then he, and then he sells his live edge boards for a pretty penny. Just looking up that still brewery right now. Their uh, Deadhead series looks pretty cool. Like just the label on it. Well, the the beer looks good. Mm -hmm. Kind of smells like coffee. Speaking of which, for sours, is it really just Berliner Voss, uh, Goza, and Gooses? There's also Kettle as well. And... Yeah, you can get Kettle Sours. You can get... Not bad. Uh, you can get a whole bunch of different things. But yeah, if you're if you're going like... Uh, if you're going Belgian style and all that, that's you're looking at those. Uh, some Oud Bruins, uh, Lambic... Um, Oh shit! Yeah, I forgot. Wait, is is lambic? 
yeah, are lambics typically sour or no? A lot of them are, but a lot of them aren't at the same time because usually there's a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of sweet fruit added to it too. There's cuvées that are that are that are sour. There's cuvées that aren't. Um, I don't know. A lot of Belgian style beer. Holy fuck! They got a lot for their uh, wild sour series. I've had the here goes a nothing. They have a Flanders red. A syncopath, one syncopathic, syncopathic uh, apricot, blueberry goes uh, cranberry creek. Yeah, creeks. Crike, oh, and Lindbrook. This was Pennsylvania. If this thing was in Pennsylvania, it'd be called cranberry crick. <laughs> right. I'm trying to look up that steeped coffee ale on Sleeman's web website, and their website is pretty terrible, actually beard it wasn't working but now it did work so hello everybody i was i was just looking at it and it said that you were in so how are you she's not nearly red beard anymore red no beard i'm doing well i'm doing well he looks so pretty he looks like he kind of looks like he's related to sam corby corby there uh sawdust city oh there you go sure why not or johnny cakes from Sopranos, a mm. redhead Johnny Cakes. There you go. Why not? So what are you Why drinking, not? sir? I'm cracking open a can of Scottish Ale by Highlander because I've got like a case and a half sitting in the other room. Wow. Along with a, along with two cases of Buckshot Lager, like <laughs> Highlander is awesome. <laughs> I got so much free beer from them this year. It's nuts. Well, you, you were pouring for them almost everything, weren't you? Everything I was able to, yeah. And maybe it maybe fun. they'll get you to pour for them at my festival. If they're going to it next year, then uh, damn right I'm down for that. Damn right, man. Cool. Well, that that would be that 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 would be like the ideal way for me to go down too to do like the bottle share and all that shit. Would be to work the festival because like they pay they they pay me forty cents a kilometer drive time. Like I went down to the uh, agricultural fair thing and helped them over the two weekends and almost like 1200 bucks for four days of work. Wow. So, yeah, not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. And it's, and I don't even consider it work. Like it's just fun. Working a, working a beer festival is just fun. I love the, it. The hard part is not drinking during that beer <laughs> festival. <laughs> yeah. Usually, usually it's, you know, relatively lax where, you know, you can like have a little bit here and there, but, yeah, that, that 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 particular one, it was like if you, we were able to, but you had to like pour your sample, then like go into like our back kind of curtained off area and kind of drink, <laughs> drink, drink all hidden away. I, I would think for this last festival though, they should get you on a bit of a discount. Like they were clearly looking for your celebrity, and you went without the beard, man. You know, surprisingly, I was still recognized by like four or five different people without the beard. They were like, oh, "Are you Redbeard?" I'm like, I was. And they're like, wow, yeah, it was pretty funny. <laughs> I'd make you dress up, have the fake beard on. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I need to get a fucking kilt, though, pretty badly, because when I, the one day when I was there, I was the only one out of three people working that didn't have a kilt. I felt pretty. Uh, go on to Amazon and look up. Uh, I'll send. I'll actually send you the stuff. There, I there's a company I work with that sells them for like a third the price of other companies. Well, there we just, go. They're just as good. And is Excellent. there any Black Friday sales that they're having? Probably not. <laughs> when you can get a kilt for like fifty bucks, you're you're fucking you're winning. True. Yeah. yeah they're, they're, they they can be fucking really pricey. Yeah, like I I have uh, I have fifteen kilts. I have ten of them from that company. And I have uh, two utility kilts and then three actual real kilts. And the real ones are more money than... Those three real ones are more money than the other 12 combined. Wow. All right. And did I sell, like, the, the cool, like, belt accessory things, too? Oh, you can get that stuff, too, yeah. Nice. Cause you, got, you got to have at least one, you know, like, some, something something cool looking. Then I got to get, get some big socks. Some decent um, shoes, as well. Jamie, to answer your question, it's not a bad beer. What are you drinking there? I am drinking 
Let's see. Sleeman steeped coffee ale. Interesting. I just I noticed the glass. I just actually finished doing a vlog on uh, Great Lakes Brewing's Thrust and IPA. That's a damn tasty beer. If you want a bunch of those, you just have to go visit Mr. Ashley Sexton in his in his garage. Well, I went and visited Greg, and he's like a block away, so that worked out pretty well too. He he really is close, yeah. And uh, it's, yeah, it, it's, he's also close to Black Oak. So if anyone ever wanted to try fresh Black Oak beer, it's right there as well. Um, cool Brewing is right by him as well. Yeah, he told me that. I, I wasn't really excited about that one. No, no, you could have went and gotten some buzz. <clears throat> I'm good, man. I'm good. I got like a freaking Great Lakes had I think 18 different beers in their fridge when I went there. That was fucking crazy. Man. Yeah, usually, usually it's like six. So that's impressive as hell. And then like two days after I left, they released Grimace's Tears Strawberry Milkshake IPA that I really want to try. God damn it. I still got to go uh, use these. What are those for? Free Innocent Gun at the beer store. Thanks. Where'd you, how'd you get those? Because just, I'm me. Just Okay, fair enough. No, no. Uh, <laughs> I, I was harassing Nick because Nick, uh, well, remember Don won that contest and made his beer in Scotland, right? Yep. And Don's walking around and taking pictures in his innocent gun shirt and all that. And I, I posted Dougal and Nick. I'm like, I've only been fucking harassing you for almost a decade for a motherfucking shirt. You were in my house drinking with me, and I still don't have a motherfucking shirt. And I get a private message. What size are you? Nice. <laughs> so you right. get the shirt? Wow. Yeah, I got the shirt. I got the shirt. I, I got the innocent gun glass Friday. now. There, go ahead, Jen. Yeah, I was gonna say I still say the Chinese need to make a knockoff beer called Dennis and Fun. <laughs> Rick, beer that uh, you, you're saying that glass? Did you get that from that pack with that mystery beer? Yeah. Now, did you have the Blood Red Sky beer? I have had that. Is it any good? It's all right. Not it's not okay. bad, but I I almost bought that pack, but I didn't. I didn't get around to it, and. Uh, I recommend. I heard, I I heard someone it. say that 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 beer was really good, and then so last I, last night in the chat, that hairy guy was saying that it's terrible. So well, again, just, like t taste yeah. is very subjective. I I think it's not yeah. bad. Like I wouldn't say it's amazing. I, it's not terrible. It's all mm -hmm. right. And then but, the uh, mystery beer. Did you have that? No, I'm actually saving that because uh, Nick wants to possibly do a 101 with that. I think that'd be pretty fun. Okay, <clears throat> I'll I'll see if I can pick it up. Still, I'm sure I can. I said there should still be a few around. I know uh, Ashley Sexton had that beer, and he uh, he said a few things about it, and I thought it might sound intriguing to try. So there you go, intrigue it up, yo. And there's a glass in the pack, so it's a nice glass. I am glad to have an instant gun glass, even though I have a cool shirt like Chad. The uh, the one pack that was pretty good was that Spencer. Just... Sorry. Uh, is it just the regular, uh, regular innocent gun glass? The it's a small, smaller glass. Like it'll fit like one of their bottles, no problem. And it's just got some. It's almost like the uh, the writing oh. they have on their cans now. Yeah, yeah. The new yeah design. They, they, I know they changed all their uh, all their marketing. I didn't know what glass they're using now. Yeah, I think it's it's basically like the uh, like the green can, which is is that the original? What's yeah. the green can? No, the green can's the lager. Yeah, it, well, I think the green the red. I think it's the same fucking design on both cans now. It's a different color. But regardless, yeah, that's what it kind of looks like. Yeah. It's a nice glass. I like it. Like a tulip stuff? Yes. Indeed. The kind of uh, an elongated tulip. I'll show you an elongated tulip. Mm. Will you? If, you? if you have an elongated tulip, I think you may need to go see about that. Right? I guess I looked at it. <laughs> No, I'm almost like Urban Dictionary ways to describe something like a blue waffle. Yeah. <laughs> That's an elongated tulip. Fuck. Anybody here watch the show Big Mouth? It's on Netflix. Yes. I've already watched both watch? seasons. And yeah, the, the, the whole blue waffle thing. Yeah, that was... Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, that show is bloody brilliant. I love it. It is. I love it at the end, like, oh, like, at the end of the first season with the hormone monster, they're talking about, like, like... You know, later in the future, you'll look on this and maybe, you know, you'll be able to, like, laugh about it, like, what, make a cartoon or something? Is that child porn? It's like, shit, I hope not. What if we make it a cartoon? That'll be okay, right? 
right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, wait, what? Uh, <laughs> like the whole episode where the fucking uh, Jesse that she was a girl is like discovering her vagina and stuff. It's like that's like uh, there's some fucking borderline. You're, you're, you're watching this going. Should I really be watching this? But it's uh, but it's so well done. It's just it's so funny. It, it's yeah. It's it's great. I'll give you a second it. chance. I've watched about two minutes of the first one and I switched it up. I reckon I well, you, you, you got to have that like. Well, I feel I feel like you would have kind of that twisted sense of humor. Right? Like, you think oh, yeah. about it this way. You if you think about um, how you were as a teenager, it totally applies to every single male and female out there. <clears throat> It, it, just, it, it is it's really so, well. So, so very far away from that now. But <laughs> it, it, it's funny to me that yeah. I didn't realize until I was watching some other random video on YouTube with Nick Kroll, but he does uh, three or four different voices in the show. Like the hormone monster, that's him. Yep. I didn't know yep. that until fucking I saw like him do it like live. Hit that, and I think uh, potentially the shame wizard might be him as well. I can't remember, but there's. He does a few voices in the show. It's, no, he does uh, the coach. Coach fucking whatever. Oh, idiot my God. Character. Are you talking about the coach that likes to, like, he talks about different Herminator? What? Is, what? Is, nah, you know what? It was, it was a <laughs> de decent attempt. Decent attempt. I'm sorry. I just don't I don't have that high pitch. Yeah, yeah your, pitch, of, your pitch was all just kind of wrong. It, it was, uh, and I'm not, I'm not a gym teacher either, so I just. There you go. Well, he he shouldn't really be either. So you guys are probably kind of equal level in there. <laughs> Wait a minute. What, what, never mind. <laughs> it can be a compliment. Take it. Take it as a compliment. There you go. I mostly watch documentaries on Netflix. So I uh, one animated My, show though was that F is for Family. I am looking forward to season three. That, that is a awesome. great show. That's a good show. Do you watch uh, the Venture Brothers at all? Uh no. I highly recommend that. That's that. That's not, like not only my favorite animated show, but straight up my favorite fucking TV show of all time. Yeah, it is. Central Brothers is pretty good. So fucking good. And the last season that just aired, like it's all been on for seven. Well, it's been on for fourteen years, and the seventh season just finished. So you got to be a fan. You got you, you to wait about uh, two years between seasons, just because like the people that do it have so much other shit on the go. They just it just kind of happens as it happens. But yeah, it's the the most recent season called back to like the fucking pilot episode and shit, and they resolve things you didn't even know about, and it, it's so well written and so fucking hilarious. I cannot recommend that show enough. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like somebody else should talk for a little bit. No, no, no one's gonna talk. <laughs> I really uh, wish I could have gotten that. That Spencer gift pack. I didn't even know it existed. See, I don't. I haven't been in. A, I haven't been in an LCBO in months now. So I'm looking at it right now. There. It's the uh, the normal. Um, what, uh, there's one that's like a, a spiced version. Um, I don't know the names of the. I don't have it in front of me. I'll look it up here in just a sec, so I can see the exact. Looks words. like there's actually some amazing ones that came out this year. Let me look it up. Like uh, the Spencer one, I'm intrigued on, and then this one, the Rochester Mills Beer Company Milkshake Stout Seasonal Sampler Pack. Hmm. That sounds good. Yeah. Let me. I saw uh, Jace Westwood. I think sent me a link to that. If I see that, I'm buying that one for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pick that up tomorrow. Actually, I. Uh... Randomly, if you guys see the new Collective Arts. Uh, Dry hopped sour with raspberries. Give it a try. It's pretty damn tasty. But it's four seventy five a can, so it's not that tasty, in my opinion. <laughs> right. so it'll be seven dollars a can here. Potentially. So that, that Spencer gift pack. I'm looking at looking at it right now. So the main reason I wanted to try it was for the Imperial Stout. Um, but the uh, just the regular ale was quite nice. The Imperial Stout was actually kind of weird. Uh, but the holiday ale was really, really good. That was my favorite of the three. It was kind of the, the perfect taste. The Imperial Stout was weird. It was like kind of two two beers mixed together, like it had two mm. completely different tastes mixing. And it, I don't know. It was, I don't know. It, it was it was an experience. That's for sure. Mm. Not one I'd buy. Again. Okay, I need to find somebody to go buy me these two 
mixed packs because they're not in Welland or the or Niagara Falls. Can't you just like order them to your LCBO? Nope. Not no. Well, uh, I bought I bought one in uh, the city I work, and that was the last one on the shelf that I saw. Yeah, no these these packs they don't they don't move them like that. Yeah. Click. Okay. The, That's stupid. One city close to me is showing two, so that means they're probably gone. And yeah, one city uh, still has 12, so I could probably still get it, but eh, I wouldn't buy it again. Bought it once, that was good enough. That uh, six pack of stouts, I'm going to get that. Or eight pack, whatever it is. I want that. I want that bad. That looks amazing. I want that more than I want the fucking Spencer one. <laughs> anyway, what do we have going on over here? Uh, oh, so, uh, good day, Star Scream. How are you? Uh, what's going on? Uh, you spent the day alone. Why Why spent the day alone? Now, Branch, you need to get in here with us. Um, not, that, not that you care, Star Scream, but because you know. Officially divorced. <laughs> nice. I have to applaud as a divorced man myself. Congratulations. Congratulations. And as a guy like myself who was dumb enough to go do it again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, right there with you. Hey, I traded up for a younger model. I'm happy. Hey, so did I. <laughs> I got a Bose Lego tread. Where's Chris Lysak when you need him, right? Um, what else do I have over here? I have a Bud Light Rattler for old time's sake. Ooh, there you go. Going hardcore tonight. I have a Imperial Stout. That's not bad. That's sort of the four pack, eh? Yep. Oh, ooh, we got some rail side. This is a. I, I'm probably gonna have to drink these because I don't actually like rail side from Sleeman, so I'm gonna have to get rid of them. I did oh. not like that one when I had it. That was a while back. I, I did not like it either, but it has it's, to be drank. It's Sleeman. Do you, do you, have, I mean... you, have a, do you have a bendy straw? Oh, too bad. Too you poured it. If you had a bendy straw, it would've been fun to just fucking do the shotgun thing with that. <laughs> just fucking get it done, man. You know, you guys keep talking about this stuff. Maybe one time when I go to the Okanagan, I'll just jump into Sleeman's uh, brewery just once just to piss you guys off. <laughs> you know, I don't actually dislike Sleeman's all that I wouldn't, be, uh, I wouldn't piss me off at all, man. You do what you want to do. To be I, honest, I, I, I like Sleeman Clear. It's an okay low-carb beer. Sleeman Cream Ale is an okay beer. I like the Cream Ale. I really do. The Honey Brown is not terrible. The Honey Brown isn't terrible. The uh, original draft isn't terrible. Uh, Silver Creek, if you can get it when it's not skunked, it's skunked super quickly. If you can get it not yep. skunked, it's not terrible. Uh, this one, though, this one I hate. And Lyft. They can fuck themselves with Lyft. The coconut water beer. Mm, there you go. But yeah, other than that, like if I had to pick, if I truthfully had to go into a bar and get a domestic beer, like just, a, just an average macro beer, if it's not Old Vienna, which is there just because of old time's sake for me, then I would rather drink a Sleeman than a Labatt or Molson product. There you go. It's funny, here in North Bay, I want to say at least one, two, three, I think five bars here in town have their own, like, lager on tap that, I'm, that they've had brewed by someone around here. Interesting. I need to go do some on location reviews. How did you two Hi, idiots Aaron. get in here? <laughs> I was going to say, my area is amazing because we have Genesee on tap. <laughs> oh, hello, beautiful. Joe would be all over that. Oh, well, hello. Unfortunately, folks, I've got to run. I have to do this whole um, yeah, parent teacher with the ex wife. Unfortunately? What? Yes, unfortunately. Yeah, you have fun, sir. I will. Th thank you for allowing me to drink my beer with people so that I didn't drink alone. <laughs> there you go. 
if you guys are on a little bit later on, I'm going to try and sneak down here again. I'll uh, send right, you a message, sir. see what's going on. So thanks again. Enjoy Cheers, yourselves. Cheers, man. Peace. Cheers. Peace, man. What is drunken one drinking there? That's fancy. Oh, I changed it up. I was drinking some homemade wine. And then, um, or, uh, yeah, this is a, a stout slash um, Scottish strong ale kind of mixed together. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was an oopsie, and uh, okay. it turned out all right. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like a wee stouty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not terrible. Nice. See, that, that that's that's something cool that can happen, you know, when you do stuff like what you do there. You, you like, be making a fucking certain kind of beer and fuck it up a bit somehow and well, not, not realize till the end. And then you, you, you've created something new. And, like, you're drinking now. It's, like, not bad. That's that's cool. I like that. We got a round of applause. I was trying to top off the keg and... Uh, Getting divorced. Oh, sweet. After getting my nose in the bucket, I realized, hey, that's... Uh, divorced. Divorced. You're divorced. I've never been married. Yet. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Are you good. saying you don't want to get married? Is that what you're no, saying? No, I'm just saying I've never been married, as in I can never have been divorced. It's a valid point. So you can't say we're divorced. You're divorced. So we're not getting married? <laughs> Throw Don't throw anything at me. <laughs> She'll throw well, something yeah, at you and spill a fucking beer all over the computer and then something new. How to hurt the boxer? <laughs> Chad getting knocked out on his own <laughs> BDU would be the best. That would be entertaining. <laughs> By a girl, no less. So seen Chad, the albino rider, just like should have like all you see is her fist from off camera, just one shot him in the jaw, and he's just done. That'd be a hell of a thing to see. If, if I can take a shot from the cantankerous cook, I can take a shot from her. See, you're just pushing it down. I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> no I'm, surprised, I'm surprised the cook didn't r knock you out because that looked like it hurt. <laughs> I don't even know what this what you're talking about right now. Who is the cantankerous cook? My buddy Paul. He's a 300-plus pound gothic <laughs> man. Oh. Let's see. I I don't. He's, he's the guy. I, I, I don't consider the gothic part to, to like be an add-on to him being a, like a like maybe seeming like a tough guy, but to add be an actual fighter, I want someone. He just seems like an old gothic. Like, but most of the goth people I knew growing up, like they just kind of sat around on some steps and smoked cigarettes. Oh, he he was a he was a punker most of his childhood. Oh, there you go. See that that, that so would give me a bit more fits and stuff like that until he got older. Yeah, that makes sense. Then he okay. got older, started listening to Joy Division and The Cure. It happens to all of us. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big step backward. Huh? <laughs> I don't know what I like. I I was a I I still am a decent big enough fan of not a huge fan, but Marilyn Manson kind of gothy stuff. Probably like the most gothy stuff I listen to. Hey, that's a nice shirt you're wearing there. Thanks. I stole it from somebody. Yeah. Mine, mine is referencing the Venture Brothers, the show I was talking about before. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, she's wearing an Albino Rhino Beer Festival shirt. Oh. Oh, so it's not the one, the one without the beer? beer What's that? Oh, yes, that's true. Um, yeah, so we had a bunch of beer news to talk about. Who wants to go to Niagara Falls and buy me a thing of beer? There's six, There's six apparently, at the McLeod Road LCBO. I'll get right on that. Unfortunately, I don't have a passport. You know, it'll only take me, like, what? Uh, that'll only be, like, uh, pretty much an entire day to get, drive down there, do that for you, and then drive home. Hey, at least you're in the same, you know, country, and you're even in the same province. <laughs> this is true. I, hey, I, uh, I, so um, Nickelbrook just opened up its new tap room with 20 taps. That's cool. Yeah. Right, right. I have some kind of news that probably won't be written there. Uh, Andrew, one of the guys from Stack, came by about a week ago and brought me some beer. And we did a vlog together. It was released a couple days ago. And in that vlog, he mentioned that Stack, like I mentioned when we're talking about the brewery stuff, I, I imagine, Chad, you probably haven't been there, eh? You haven't been this far north. No, I haven't been to Stack. Yeah. yeah. 
but like Sudbury is a big city geographically, like area wise. And the brewery is really kind of in like the back industrial, nobody ever goes there end of town. It's a decent enough place. You walk in the bottle shops, kind of a cool little place, but it's very much like an industrial, not a lot of foot traffic ever kind of place. And I said a few times, need to kind of do what uh, Lake of Bays that they're in Baysville, but they opened up a little bottle shop brew pub thing in Huntsville, right downtown. Stack is and Stack is opening a second location. I'm not allowed to say. He didn't tell me where. I can't say where, but it's going to be pretty cool when they have their second location. They're going to. It's going to be really, really good for them. I think. So yeah, that's my little bit of beer news. Mm -hmm. Stack is expanding. Awesome. Stack pisses me off because they make you buy a fucking six pack of their fucking beer. But the, it can be a mixed pack, can it? Uh, I don't know if it's changed. I, I'm still remembering. Oh, okay, they, they, were, they were doing that. They, I, I get you. Soda City was doing that. that yeah, and then they, Soda they, City they, stopped doing it too. Yeah, because like he should a six pack. Sure, make make the minimum order a six pack. That, yeah, that's but fine. Let me pick any six. It should be yes, exactly. Like Highlander, I'm sure you know this, but Highlander is the only one I know of. But you go to their website, and you can take a two four, and mix whatever the hell beers you want into that two four. Yep. And they will ship that two four to you for free. Really? There's no shipping cost on that two four. <laughs> I can't like and. And their beer is actually reasonably priced too. Yeah, it's not bad. Like some of those, they have a uh, their We Heavy that they release and their. Imperial Stout are both pretty high ABV. I think they're maybe around like four bucks a can, but still, yeah, really reasonably priced. And again, like free shipping on a two four. I can't think of any other brewery that doesn't like that. And their their whole logic behind it is they take the money that they would have paid to the LCBO, and they use that money to pay for the shipping kind of thing. Yep. Like mo like every single brewery, if if, if if any other brewery, like Highlander, I have super, super easy access to kind of thing at this point, so I don't really care about it. But if other breweries, like ones in Toronto, like Left Field or fucking Bellwoods or – Well, you got to remember, whatever, right? a lot of these breweries are doing the same thing any eBay seller or anything else does, and that that uh, shipping cost is just more profit in their pocket because – That's I what I mean. You, I, I yeah. ship beer around the country. I know how much it costs, and it doesn't cost as much as they're charging me. Mm. Yes. Like I'm actually, I'm doing a, a, my first ever kind of beer mail thing soon with some stack beer for a potential future beer analysis thing. And I'm going to find out what beer costs to ship soon myself. Well, I mean, it matters how big your box is. It matters how much you're sending and stuff. That and Shipping that. Two, cans. Two, two cans. cans. two cans. Two cans in a small enough box wrapped up well. It should cost I'm going to make money. my own box. I'm going to take, I'm gonna take I, I have a huge cardboard box. I'm going to measure it out. I'm going to make my own Nice, mm -hmm. cool little box and just like put it together with duct tape. I don't know if they do it the same way up there, but here we have like flat rate boxes. And so you get their boxes and no matter what you put in there, whether it's lead or feathers, it all ships the same because it's their predetermined size. Yeah, I've seen that. I don't know if I don't know if you can really do the lead or feathers comparison. Lead might end up being more because lead's right. fucking stupid heavy. Just, but, just so you know, I think, like, I think it's like prepaid up to a certain weight limit probably. Like you couldn't right. fill it with lead. Just so you know, Carrie, okay. Alicia noticed that you shaved. She just said, is that Carrie? Did he just shave? Did he shave? Wow. He might have. He may have done that. Or accidentally. It's still, it's <laughs> well, still no, fucking, I'm not a fan. I just I picture it. like a uh, red beard here, just uh, dying a like Santa beard. And just having that, that his red beard for now on. You really should. You should go out to the store and buy a Santa beard and just dye it red and wear that for your reviews. Dye it with blood. Yeah. <laughs> Good night. I'm seeing the gears turning. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, Green King made an alcohol-free version of Old Speckled Hen. That doesn't make me impressed. No, not me either, but I mean... Uh, if it tastes like Old Speckled Hen and you liked Old Speckled Hen, it could be a good non-alcoholic beer to buy. I don't think I've ever had Old Speckled Hen. Yeah, I have. You, you're not missing anything. Yeah, I figure. I think I, it sounds. I, I've heard of it. It's one of those like 
Be is it like an English beer? Yes. And it's been around for a long time. Yes, nostalgic. So it's like probably just going to be like kind of any other beer that's been around for a long time. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like macroy. Macroifer. Uh, so what? What's the next one? Um, for you Americans, we asked thirteen brewers what beer you are most thankful for. Uh, it's right. going to take me a while because some of these brewers were very long-winded, so you got to give me a second. Oh, um, uh, so first and foremost, uh, Garrett Oliver, who is the brewmaster and owner at Brooklyn Brewery, he said Saison Dupont. Uh, Jeremiah Cooper, co-founder and brewmaster of King's Brewing Company, used uh, Treehouse's Julius because, you know, you have to be a hipster when you're a brewer. Uh, what do we have here? Natalie Baldwin, R&D brewer. At Breakside Brewery says, um, Brand Pilsner. Uh, no, sorry, Augustiner Brow Pilsner. I've never heard of that one, I've never had that. Whatever. Uh, what do we have next? We have from Sierra Nevada, we have Sierra Nevada Pale Ale from Jeremy Kosnicki at uh, Founders. I still haven't had that. No, really? No, I've not had that either. I've never heard of it. I see it all the time, but I just uh, haven't gotten around to picking it up. That's the uh, that's the one that's really piney, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That and Anchor Steam. Those are two that. Uh, okay, two this the next guy didn't give a fucking beer. He gave he couldn't remember the name, so fuck him. Uh, Lee Lord, brewer at Cambridge Brewing, said uh, Bell's Two Hearted IPA. Uh, what do we have next? Uh, Jolly Pumpkins Bam Beer. I've had Bam Beer because the beer from uh, Roost Brewing's Sean Callis. Uh, Allagash White from Zach Adams, owner and brewer at Fox Farm. Like, why couldn't they just tell us the beer? Why did they have to give us the entire thing that they? Oh, well, you know, this is the taste of the fuck you. I can't. <laughs> Uh, Duchess de, 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 de from uh, wow, <laughs> Jerry uh, Lewinsky yeah. from Listerman Brewing Company. Uh, founder and head brewer at Cloudburst Brewing says, uh, Sierra Nevada Celebration Ale. Last two, we have Brian Green Danger from uh, Mystic Brewery, and what does he say? Uh, Saison Dupont again, so two Saison Duponts, but there was also uh, Two from Sierra Nevada so far. Last one, Sarah Nelson, co-founder and co-owner of Fremont Brewing, uh, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Hmm. That's Celebration Ale, I believe. Uh, Matt was having one of those last night. Mm -hmm. Matt, That's when you get Matt, when you're right up to the camera there, when you're reading, you're, you're starting to thin out just a bit at the top of your hair there. Oh damn! How are you gonna call him out? No, well, just in, like when you went. Like, when you get down to the sides, it looks a lot more like at the top. You can kind of see. <laughs> I, I, you know, it depends on the angle, I guess. Maybe I don't know, mate. No, you're you're good. Maybe I don't know. Just when you were reading, it was like right there, and it looked like uh, you could see like kind of more scalp. I don't know. I think I'm you're not trying to call or anything. Crack, I'm just, huh? you know. I think you're on crack, honey. I am I bald? Or Alex, <laughs> sir. Oh. <laughs> my myself, I like I I did. Thing that you are thinning on top. What? I love that. Hey, it's not so. Uh, a bit. I mean, you're not like just a bit though. Like, like just a bit. Like top. myself, myself. I let I, I, I let the I let the top grow for about a week and a half a uh, little bit ago, and like I have got pretty much nothing happening on the very top of my head anymore. It's it's pretty disappointing. <laughs> like yeah, it's. If I'm balding, we're not getting married. That's the way it's going. <laughs> no, you, you, you look just fine with a shaved head. You've done that for a while. It's fine. You look all right for a bald guy. <laughs> It'll be the, the, the bald bino. The bald bino? Bald bino. What? You don't want to get married? You've got enough. You've got like a forest of hair all over the fucking rest of your I body. Do, you I can, do have a forest you of can, hair. You can do the whole like transplant thing. Put your chest hairs on the top of your head. It'd be cool. That's why your house is sitting. It's my house. Yeah, don't, 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 don't say our house. Don't do that. <laughs> no, no, I won't say our house. 
That gives her too much power. Uh, well, I guess I can always just take back my half of the mortgage payment. There you go. This is going great. We're going to see the cancel, cancellation of Chad's wedding live on, on YouTube. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's, 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 it's fun to have fun. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, what do we got going on here? Um, wow, this is uh, intriguing. Okay. So there is a Vancouver place called The Growler. And uh, they did a guide to non-alcoholic beer. They tried one, two, three, four. They tried seven non-alcoholic beers. I mean, it's a good. It's a good mixture of them too. I'm. I can't believe that one of them got the market got. But they. The first one they did was Klosthaler Classic, which I did through uh, through Premium Near Beer, zero point four nine percent. They gave it a five out of ten. I think it's worth more than a five out of ten. It actually tastes just like a pilsner. Uh, next, they did Mad Virgin Craft Brewed Lager. That's brewed at Niagara College, uh, Mad Virgin Craft Brewed Lager, 0.0%, and they gave that a 6.5 out of 10. That's like a 1 out of 10 for myself. That thing was fucking garbage. Uh, then they went to Partake IPA at 0.3% and like 10 calories a can, and it tastes just like an IPA, and they gave it a 9 out of 10, so I give them a thumbs up for that one. But then they got to Bo Budweiser Prohibition Lager and gave that an 8.5. I wouldn't have done that, but it's it's still a good beer. It's at least worth over a five. Maybe they um, blind tested them? Yeah, they tested them all. There was like six people that drank yeah, them. Yeah, but maybe they did a blind, so they didn't know yeah. it was a blind until... So that, that makes it kind of okay, then. Uh, beer beer number five was O'Doul's at 0 0.5, and they rated that as seven and a half. Uh, <laughs> beer number six is <laughs> Molson <laughs> Excel, bad, and I, I've lost all respect for them because they gave Molson Excel a seven out of ten. And uh, Grolsch got a six out of ten. Okay. Fuck you guys. Fuck you. Why the I hell did O'Doul's get that high of a rating? I'm pretty sure I've never tried non-alcoholic beer. Oh, um, like, I've, I've tried a lot of non-alcoholic beer. Like, like for for me, it's like, wh why would I have a non-alcoholic beer? Like, there's to maybe do one for a review or something to try it. But aside from that, there, I there's no. Well, the problem, with non -alcoholic beer, you buy one. the problem with non-alcoholic beer is a lot of times you have to buy them in a six-pack or a 12-pack or a 2-4. Okay, now, yeah. uh, now, the PC brand stuff, I mean, a lot of non-alcoholic beer is the same price as fucking normal beer, too, which is stupid. But Sorry, guys. Going I'm going to put in. I'm just going to say bye. i got to get going. So. All right, have Jamie. Have a lovely have a good night, guys. Never, okay. man. I love you, Jamie. You too, bro. Bye. No, like uh, the PC stuff, right? It's so like PC Blonde and the PC Red. Uh, Does it typically but... take like, the same amount of everything to brew the beer? Really? It's not nearly... A... Well, it all matters what they're doing, right? There's lots of different processes they could do. Okay. And uh, that's that's what it comes down to, is the processes that they do are what uh, change the verdict on the end result. A lot of them are... A lot of them end up just fucking making wort and canning the wort. So that's why they're so super, super sweet. And that's just why. Like, you're, yeah. Anyway, the PC brand, you get a 12 pack for six ninety nine, So you're paying like 50 cents a can and it's actually good beer. Like the PC Red actually tastes just like Rickard's Red. Not the oh, greatest yeah. beer, but if you're looking for a non-alcoholic beer, seven bucks for 12 of them and they taste like Rickard's Red, hey. There you go. I'm down. I just assume that they uh, carbonate used carbonated water and then put like beer flavored Mio in it. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure how they do that. Like they just put hop, hop extract and uh, extract from all the. Uh, some of them, some of them uh, don't use it. Some of them actually brew the beer and then water it down. Some of them. Like, there, there's a few different ways they've done it. Hmm. Now, I can't get the guy that owns Partake to tell me how he does it, because he's the only brewery that I've ever had beer from that tastes exactly like regular beer, and he's the only brewery that I've ever seen the calories so low and the carbs so low. Hmm. So I don't he's know what he does. Man. I don't know what he does, but he won't tell me. Like, a can of, a can of regular IPA is like 200 
calories. Yeah. A can of his non-alcoholic IPA that tastes the exact same as his can of IPA is 10 calories. What the fuck did you do? Mm. Uh, he has uh, ho- he has uh, flavored es- extracts, and he puts it through a soda machine, uh, soda stream. <laughs> a soda does. stream. Uh, I would <laughs> I would believe you if he didn't have like five different brands. Like he he did a stout that didn't work out very well, but he's done a pale ale, the IPA, the stout, and a lager. And he's working on a red right now. <laughs> Crazy. I just picture someone doing that, just like has like some yellow food flavoring. coloring, <laughs> and just puts it in a soda soda stream. <laughs> the best part is people would actually buy it and say it tasted really good. Because <laughs> compared well, I mean, to like people... the broccoli soup taste of like Coors Light non-alcoholic and stuff like that, it would be great. <laughs> Talking about that, I have a can of Coors Edge upstairs. It's scary to me to drink. <laughs> What I think is really funny is I said this before, like people like south of the border of Canada, you give them the bat blue and they think it's the most amazing stuff ever. Most amazing stuff because it's foreign. (laughs) Yeah, it's not really amazing at all. (laughs) Especially when you give it to them and it's brewed right there. (laughs) Like the stuff that's brewed in Rochester. Oh, this is foreign. (laughs) <laughs> it's Canada's Pilsner, brewed right here in the States. <laughs> it, it just makes me sad. Like, when people, like, I even have at a beer festival and stuff, and they're like, I, I like Coors. What do you have that tastes like Coors Light? And it's like, uh, well, you're, you're pouring, you're pouring for, uh, you're pouring for Highlander. You pour them a fucking lion's grass. There's a the bat or the buckshot lager. For yeah, the buckshot There's too. Well, and I actually at the festival, I was pouring for Highlander, New Ontario, Manitoulin, Stack, Sleeping Giant, Lake of the Woods. I think that's it. The the whole New Ontario Brewing Alliance thing. We had beer from all of them, which is why at the end of each, like I went there the first weekend, then came home, and went there the second weekend, and came home. And at the end of each of those weekends, I brought back basically a 2 4 of Stax Expansion Sour IPA. Hmm. Yeah, I love that beer. That's I weird that someone that, that people actually say like they want cores at a beer festival. Usually, like. It wasn't a beer festival. Know, this wasn't a beer it, festival, though. No, um, he, was at, he was at like a trade show. Well, it was like it's oh, the okay. Roy, it's the Royal uh, Agricultural Winter Fair in Toronto. It's like this giant, fucking humongous, ridiculous exhibition thing that happens. And there's a lot of horses, horses, cows, pigs, go like fucking farm animals out the ass. But just like it's, it's huge. And uh, Molson had bought the rights to like the whole fucking event. And so I'm, I'm surprised they even let you in. That's what I'm saying. Somehow Dwayne had this tiny little fucking area. We had this tiny little area that we were able to serve in. And they were charging $9 for a can of Coors Banquet. Wow. And we, <laughs> we, no, people were paying. People were paying. That or like, I think it was eleven twenty five for a pint of domestic draft. It was like, if you want a can of Strongbow Cider, you're paying 12 bucks. It was just like fucking crazy. But where we we were pouring, we were pouring. I think like four ounce sample glasses of our stuff for two bucks a sample. So it was like three of these basically was a can of beer for six bucks. So way cheaper, and you're getting actual good craft beer. Right. So it was it was the best thing. Was like no nobody knew. Like there was no advertising saying that the, we were here, and people just walking through the festival. Walking along, and you'd see them. They'd be walking along, and they'd like look over, and like they'd walk into like where we were, and they look over and see it, and then just like, and the best double takes I've ever seen in my life. Just people like there's 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 craft beer here, and just like they just right over and fucking yeah. So we got a few people a little hammered. It was it was a good time. Right. Like, we had we had we had I think uh, ten different beers that you could sample. So we're like, and it's like. The first day we got in trouble because we had like small glasses and big glasses. 
and apparently we weren't allowed to pour the big glasses. Yeah, no, you have to have everything in the same yeah, size. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a sample serving list. So we're like, okay, whatever, whatever. But we can still, like, it's like we have 10 different fucking, give me a $20 bill, and you can have a flight of everything we've got. And, yeah, people were doing that. It was awesome. It was a good time. I liked it. Is that a Lock Street te Teku you have there, sir? This is the Lock Street Teku that I got <laughs> when I went. This is the only Teku I have. This is like my favorite glass given to me by whatever his name was at Lock Street. Yeah, I don't even know if he works there anymore. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I, they've changed stuff, I think. They have a setup in the Penn Center in St. Catharines. Uh, they have like a little little mini uh, tasting room set up in the middle of the Penn Center. I don't know yeah. how much money you have to pay to have a fucking license to serve alcohol in the middle of the fucking the store, like the mall, but they have it. Yeah, I feel like that would be uh, I feel uh, like you'd pricey. be paying I feel like you'd be paying like a special occasions permit, so you'd be buying one like every three or four days. Unless they're somehow able to get like a, like a, uh, some kind of thing for a month or something maybe at a time or something. And I'm I mean, sure there's it's, some it's, it's, all, it's all walled up and stuff because you're not allowed to leave that area with your yeah. beer. Yeah. So it's it's like you you're you're licensing a ten by ten square in the middle of the mall. That's just funny. It's weird. Apparently next year, uh, Dwayne from Highlander, he he said there's, next year he wants to have like an actual full on beer garden that's like cord because it's so funny. Like I had to tell every single person you pour the glass please don't leave the area kind of thing. And we're like running after people when like the, this one guy in a wheelchair came up, <laughs> caught his beers and then just started driving away. We're like, dude, we can't have you drunk driving through the festival. You got to fucking stay, stay in our area. <laughs> nice. And they had this one thing set up where like, I like, I guess the wires were going across the floor. So they had this like thing going up and over the wires. It was all, it was bright yellow. So you should be able to see it. But I, I wish I had like my camera just kind of going in the background and, and recording that area because the number of people that nearly tripped and like old old ladies and fucking people shit all like almost just falling on their faces. I'm, trying to I'm actually it. really surprised that they had you guys serving at the Royal like at that without the entire place just being licensed because it it doesn't take much like you can do a blanket license if you're doing a, a festival anything well, like that. Apparently, and I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, I blanket license the entire sanctuary. Yeah. I blanket license the entire, basically, I say the entire area that's fenced I think in. It's and because, the entire because of the whole Molson thing, like, there's like conflicting shit. So they get their areas and we got our area or something. Well, no, see, that's the thing, right? Molson, Molson was, Molson had the exclusivity, sure. But what, <laughs> the Molson shouldn't have even had the liquor license. Molson should have just been the one they're supplying. The liquor license should have been held by the people putting on the, putting on the, Expose. <laughs> yeah, and no, I, I don't know, but yeah, it was. So what? It, what it sounds like is that Dwayne actually went and bought a booth and got a secondary liquor license where that was his area. Maybe. Well, he well he had like the area that we had was well we we were, we were part of the Northern Ontario Pavilion, yeah. which was a group of like probably like 60 different fucking vendors going on. Everybody from like basically like South River where Highlander is and North, this huge kind of area altogether. But yeah, I don't know. It was, it was weird, but fun. I had a good time. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you had a good yeah. time. I had a great time. It was That's awesome. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad, sir. <laughs> it kind of sucked. I'm on, not uh, the, the first weekend coming back, the Gardner Expressway was fucking shut down for the weekend. That was interesting. Like one of the main fucking thoroughways in Toronto just shut down for the weekend. So right. traffic was just nuts. Mm. Staying at Greg's house the second time was so nice because the first time I stayed at Dwayne's place, he's in Burlington, which is like 45 minutes out of Toronto. Yep. So drive 45 minutes to get there. The next day, it was like two hours to get back into Toronto because of the garden yeah. being shut down. Oh, and Greg, well, Greg, Greg, Greg was like... Realize, eh? You had to leave at like 5 a.m. 
Well, no, we had to be there for eleven, so we left like nine. It was okay. yeah. See, that's that's too late. You leave at five a.m. You get there in like forty-five minutes. Well, yeah, but then you sit around for like fucking three hours and. It's like, Toronto. You know how many things you could do in Toronto in that time? Yeah, that's a valid point. That's a, that. That's a valid What's point. That, sorry. Christmas market. Christmas market. See, Christmas market. There you go. This is this is the thing I was talking about, right? She she sits down here and just gives us her two cents from over on the other <laughs> side. Where you know my my ex wife would have just been upstairs banging the floor and getting angry at me and. Oh, I'm so happy for your happy. You're so happy for my happy. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad. So happy for your happy. Uh, I'm so lonely. I need more beer. Can she even hear us, Chad? You got your uh, earbuds in. Uh, she can hear me, but every once in a while she watches us too. I don't. She's not doing that right now, though. I think she's, she's playing her card. She's pretty good. I watched you guys. You haven't watched us since you moved in with me. Okay. So she used to just keep tabs on us when she wasn't with us. Oh uh, shit! So she was stalking you before. Yeah, she was stalking me apparently. <laughs> Who doesn't stop, Chad? Sad but true, she says. <laughs> so Chad is marrying his stalker. Weird. Yes, I'm marrying nice. a stalker. That doesn't normally happen. Yep, nice. It just goes to show, not all stalker relationships end up with a restraining order. <laughs> so what is that, honey? But I don't really have the time or the energy to stalk anybody, so... Consider yourself special. <laughs> and Carrie says this just goes to show that not all stalker relationships end in a restraining order. Uh, and he would know all about that. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> How well versed on that? <laughs> Uncalled for. <laughs> I think everybody said the same thing there, Carrie. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, our, our friend from Texas said he's well versed in that. <laughs> I'm cracking open some relatively. Oh, oh, that's a good one stuff. right there. Fracture. Fracture. Nice. Imperial India Pale Ale at nine point one percent ABVA. 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 Oh yes. One or two? One or two what? That's the number, one or two. I have like uh, 15 minutes left. One or two. Oh, two. Oh, two. Yeah, let's go two. Why not? You sure two? Sure, why not? Bud Light Rattler. God damn. Well, what was one? Oh, no. One, one <laughs> was uh, one was both Lego Tread. Ah. <laughs> good from, mix, uh, mix them together. Do a half and half. I am not mixing like Lego Tread with this. To call, we'll call it a Bud, a, a bud Tread Rattler. Bud Tread. Speaking of like Bud Light things, have you had like their uh, Clamato Chilada? Yes, I've had the Chilada and the Bud Light Chilada and fuck them both. <laughs> True I that. Said, I saw a review of someone that had that, and the guy like threw up every time he would drink it. And he had to re I think he reviewed it twice. Now, Greg, <laughs> Greg ended up getting a chilada as a present from, from Average Joe. And Average Joe, being an asshole, bought the 64 ounce can oh, wow. of both of them and gave them to him. <laughs> that was that was awesome. Yeah, I, I just, I, 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 I wouldn't like, drink something with Clamato in it. Ever. Yeah, why the hell would, did someone think that was a good idea? Red, red eyes and chiladas are actually very, very. I, very I just, often I just made, want to go back in time and find the person who like first was like. It, it was. Hey, look, you, you got remember, right? It I was this clam it juice and this tomato juice. I should mix these together. No, it That'd wasn't meant. Great. It wasn't. Meant, you got to remember, right? You're thinking society, society wise, and all that, society. and culturally. Uh, like we we wouldn't do it up here, but where where this stuff was invented, like chiladas and red eyes and all that, it was right along the border where it was made so that you were drinking your beer because you wanted to drink beer, but you were rehydrating and replenishing all your electrolytes and everything at the same time. Like it was care. it was it was the subtropics, right? So that's why we're trying to made. rationalize disgustingness. God damn it! <laughs> if anything, it's probably 
to make a good soup starter, but that's about you know, it. uh, the <laughs> thing is, is that there might have been like a rational reason to have it, just like there was a rational reason to have sustrumming, but sustrumming is still foul. Well, there, this, this is the thing, right? You can't, you can't sit here and say because I'm brought up to think that mixing beer with with salt and and clamato and and fucking hot sauce and all that is stupid that I should say it's stupid because you know there is cultures in the world that think that having a pet dog is stupid and you should eat that dog. Right? Good point. And they would be right. <laughs> I'm kidding. Here <laughs> 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 Fido. <laughs> What's that, honey? Did you just compare eating a dog to making a Caesar with beer? Yes, I did just compare <laughs> eating a dog to making a Caesar with beer. Right, just make sure I heard that right. Yeah, you did hear it right. Okay. <laughs> no, it's just the clamato thing is that that's terrible. It's just having the clam. Why don't they even there. have clamato in the U.S.? I don't understand that one. Wait, what? Yeah, Why yeah, they they because we yeah, got fucking them. infiltrated them with that shit, yo. Yeah, we have cl- we have clamato chilada. I have a friend that that's all he drinks. Moss is all about bringing that clamato. The bud the world. Light when do we get down there? Then? Almost every American that comes up here. And comes to my place of business, who sees a Caesar being made, says, "What is that? And what is Clamato?" Well, yeah, one of my friends was like drinking it, and he's just like, "Dude, just reminds me of a Bloody Mary." I'm like, "I don't know what the hell Bloody Mary." Like, a Bloody Mary is tasty. a Bloody Mary is basically a Caesar just made with with yeah, full on tomato juice instead of Clamato, Clamato juice, and instead of celery salt, it's regular salt. Is is it really? It's not. Yeah. I thought I thought it was celery salt with that. Really. No. You're supposed to do it with regular salt. Good day, oh, Ashley. Hello, Mr. Sexton. Ashley, how's, how's our beer doing? It's uh, still doing its thing. It's yeah. Did you did you have what? to repitch? No. 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 Was, was that the uh, the like shit you were posting a little a couple of days ago? The grinding and stuff videos. You were brewing beer with Ashley. Yes. Yes. Beer okay. With Ashley. I didn't know where you were brewing the beer. I didn't know Ashley had his own. Uh, radio so if school. if this base beer turns out, I'd like to do it kind of again, but with uh, with more biscuit and Maris Otter and actual coffee or something in it to make yeah. it have more flavor. How, how and, uh, t- uh, can, can, can we know what the style is or anything like that? We, we, did a, we, did a, we basically did a dark mild. Yeah. It's... What, what is a dark mild? It's a mild, but it's dark. It's dark. What, is, what is a mild? A mild is something <laughs> between 2 and 4% alcohol. Yeah. Okay, so like just a kind of a... A table beer. A light, a light dark lager kind of shit? Not longer though. It's an ale. Yeah. Light dark. Fucking fine. <laughs> Mister knows what he's talking about over here. I almost. I pretend to know. Drinking some ES. I think I have a can of that in the fridge, possibly. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I, do you do you work right. tomorrow? <laughs> do I ever? <laughs> oh. Yeah. You you work in the falls, don't you? Uh, at the outlets in Niagara on the Lake. Yeah. Um, on your way home, do you want to stop by the McLeod Road LCBO? Cloud Road LCBO. That's that's in the falls. That that's like because I think you should get this and then we should review it together. It's the Rochester Mills Beer Company Milkshake Stout Seasonal Stout Sampler Pack. You didn't get a free one sent to you? No, I don't even know where Rochester Mills is, so no, I didn't. But it's there's six of them. There's six of them at the uh, Walmart LCBO. Are there none in St. Catharines? Uh, let me check if there's any in St. Catharines. David, you just made me remember something I was going to say like fucking 10 minutes ago. The whole thing at the festival with the uh, liquor li- 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 license and stuff. Font they Hill. They, damn you. Sorry, one second. Font Hill. St. Catherine says oh, one. Okay. F- Font Hill's a lot better for me. Um, uh, Niagara on the Lake has four. I, I can do Font Hill tomorrow. Okay, Font just, Hill uh, is uh, the one at Rice Road yeah. and Highway 20. Yep, yeah, I, I know that one. Watch someone watching this thing just buys all. Nobody the ones at watches Font Hill. this from Font Hill. Yeah, no, no one watches this. <laughs> well, there's that too. <laughs> there's five. Okay, and so what you were going to say for, about the beer festival? Uh, I guess this is the first year that there was no LCBO on site. They usually, the LCBO usually had like their own. Are you listening kind of to us now over there? That's awesome. Okay. No, the LCBO okay. usually had their own booth on site. So, like the the, the couple of years past, they were promoting their beer and stuff. And it's like you like it, go over there and buy some. And they sold a bunch of beer. 
But I what? guess what was happening was the uh, vendors were all going to the LCBO thing, buying a bunch of fucking beer and bringing it back to their fucking place and getting all hammered in the festival while working. And they weren't licensed for that. So this year they had no LCBO at all. And they kind of, a lot of people were coming up being like, where's the LCBO this year? And it's like, it's not here. Which festival is this? It's a, it wasn't a, it's not a beer festival. It was the Toronto, the Royal fucking agricultural winter fair thing. Gotcha. Yes, yes, yes. Which apparently has been going on since like just after the first world war. What? Really? Yeah. It's this, it's, it's bigger than the CNE. which blew my mind. Well, the CNE is just a big old dirty carnival. Mm. I hope none of you heard anything that just happened there. No, I heard nothing. It no. sounded like weird wrestling oh, or something in the background. I, I have had this before. I don't remember having this. In the States, we can't say like this beer festival's been around since right after the First World War because we had a thing called Prohibition. Yeah, that, like <laughs> I said, this wasn't a beer festival. This was the Toronto Royal Agricultural Winter Fair. Yeah, this has um, nothing to do with beer. It's just... Although the second weekend I was there on the Friday night, there was a random beer festival that happened in like... The cordoned off area where they're doing like the cow auctions and stuff. It was pretty what? cool. Now, chat, if if you had watched the beer analysis one one last night on Maxwell Stars YouTube channel, uh, you would have known that prohibition started in Canada before the United States. Oh, oh. really? Bam! The, the more you know. Schooled. <laughs> See, no one ever watches any of these. Hey! <laughs> no. Wait, wait. Oh. Yeah, he, he went on for like six minutes on that spiel on that thing yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> like, really, dude? I mean, well, you know what? Like, it's on and looking around. <laughs> Everyone's like, it's like, Wait, it's like it's blue. you think of blue in Canada. You think of blue. Yeah. You think of like, man, whatever. Who the hell cares? But like the history of blue, it, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> it's actually quite interesting. Oh, bad. Uh, literally, yeah. I thought like we kept getting like the beer from like Canada. You were. <laughs> We were, uh, yeah, we had ended prohibition before the United States did. Okay. Yeah. Like, when, when did you guys have prohibition? Because I know ours was like 1900 or some stupid thing like that. I, I wasn't listening that hard to what Nick was saying. I have no idea. Uh, yeah, I'm not this, sure. I don't, I don't this is a very tasty beer. People are asking if I was getting frisky with you off camera. No. Chad's like a fucking rabbit. Takes him 25 she's, seconds. She's, he's she's laughing and saying, you, you were being attacked. No, you weren't. Uh, this, Carrie says, I only take 25 seconds. I didn't say that. It wasn't like definitively <laughs> saying that. Do you agree with him? No, she doesn't agree with you. Well, I'm, I'm happy. I'm glad. <laughs> It's like, like twenty-seven. Well, at seconds. the same time, if that's if that's all it took to like get oh. her to be happy as well, then fucking match made in heaven okay. or something. I don't know. So you guys only had prohibition for two years, and that was during a wartime measure. Yeah, and we probably realized it was a really bad idea. Yeah, you don't you don't <laughs> take Canadians and not give them any alcohol. That's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Like, well, yeah, we that look, look we, we we're like the first. Are we not the first? Like full on. Like first world country to like fully legalize recreational recreational use of marijuana. You know what's funny? You guys like thought prohibition as soon as we started it. Are there? Because like even like Amsterdam and stuff, it's not legal. People just look the other way. It's not actually legal. If you look into it, it's probably not illegal though. No, I I think it, it it is, but they're just. They're like, what, why bother? It's good for our tourism, blah, blah, blah. But it's, it's, they haven't chained the laws on the books, though, I don't think. Like, look into it if you want. Right. Yeah, in Holland, the only thing that they crack down on is psychedelic mushrooms because some Canada French became the person second drowned themselves. To recreational marijuana. What is the first? Let me find out for you. Paraguay. No, you're gray. You're gray. Sorry. Really? See, like, is, is like what, what, what level of the world, first, second, third world country is that? Uh, South America. So probably at least second. So like, what, yeah, where, Ur where, Uruguay was the only other country. So again, like, what, we're the first, like, Korea as well. 
has not made a law on it. What? Which one? What? I said North Korea technically hasn't made a law against. I'm going to go ahead and say if you smoke a joint and Kim Jong Un knows of it, you're probably going to not gonna have, have hands right. anymore or something. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you don't share, th- it with there's him. there's no freedom to do anything <laughs> good in that country, man. That place is crazy. And but the but him and John Donald Trump fell in love. They fell in love. Who's John? Uh, who's, thank who's Dennis Rodman for there, there not oh, being World I War Three. Thing I do. <laughs> there, there, is a, there is a John. Yes. I just thank John. him for that great John Claude Van Damme movie they made together. Remember that one? Remember that movie with the tiger and the explosion where he hid behind a fucking Pepsi machine or something. So we have four oh, God, episodes of Rick and hand. Morty season oh, three left to watch tonight. And then, you know, you haven't uh, finished it? You have like, you're not, like, not all caught up, really? Well, no, she's never watched it. So oh, okay. we, we watched the first two seasons before we moved here, and then uh, then her and her brother talked me into doing American Horror Story. So we did the first two seasons of American Horror Story, and now we're finishing season three of uh, of Rick and Morty, and then we'll go back to American Horror Story. Nice. After, and, uh, after, unless, America, after American Horror have Story. Watched, have you ever watched Farscape? Oh, that's one you have to watch. We'll finish American Horror Story though, so we can get back to your brother, and then we'll do Farscape. I gotta recommend throwing Rick, uh, Venture Brothers in there somewhere. Venture Brothers. The Venture Brothers. I want to get her to watch Top Gear. That's uh, that that's that's a commitment if you want to start with. Well, you know what? If you're doing like the. Well, there's only like eight episodes a season. Yeah, but there's like fucking thirty fucking seasons. Yeah, it's, but I mean, we'd go through and, and, and she's, some, she's not, on some of them, they were like almost about 10. the news and stuff. So I'd fast forward through the news. It would just be the challenge. Yeah, the stuff. news was always fun. It, it was, was always the, uh, the, the, the interviews the sometimes. To be, if he was like some uh, completely obscure British person you didn't know about, that was like just fast forward to the lap. But Jay Leno and, and stuff, it was funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Don't even bother with the first season, though. The first season was before James. There was no James May. It was some other guy. And it was not. There was like a couple. Things that were okay, but well, Richard, just, Richard Hammond didn't come in until later on either. No, no, it was, it was the, the first season was Richard. Well, the, there's old Top Gear, like old from like the '90s, like old Top Gear, yeah. which was Jeremy Clarkson and just Jeremy Clarkson basically with like a bunch of rotating other people. And then new Top Gear came out, and it started. The first season was Richard Hammond, Jeremy Clarkson. And some Rory something maybe some guy whose name I, I can't remember. remember. But his whole thing was like cheap cars that people could find like deals. Yeah, well, even like uh, the second and I want to say third season as well. There was a small like thing that happened where James May the first season with the other guy, but then James May was like just like kind of talking about the best deals you're gonna find on cars on used cars in the UK at that time and kind of thing. It was kind of interesting, but not really relevant to us at all. So I always just skipped it. But yeah, Richard Hammond and Jeremy Clarkson, James May, that whole trilogy of awesome. Why are you watching us again? Began you could, season two of Top Gear. You could just watch like uh, the Grand Tour, which is, you know, on Amazon. The Grand Prime. Tour is nice, but at the same time, I don't like it. I think the Grand Tour is fantastic, but at the same time, like if it's not you, Top Gear, right? You can't, you can't, you can't just watch the Grand. Like if you want to, like get the whole. How are these guys having such a good time together? What happened? Like they, you got to watch their whole like evolution cool. of them. You you, know, you you have to watch the whole old Top Gear shit, like the specials even. The spe- the the polar special, the yeah. African special, the Amazon the, special, the, the, the worst the, car in the world special, the. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. that was not the numerous times they destroy a Morris Marina. What's well, so, no, I mean, like I'm, you're talking about, like the different challenges. There's, there's challenges they've done, like cheap car challenges. No, the, the, ch- the one of my favorite awesome. challenges it was. But I'm the, talking uh, my favorite. No, no, they actually, they actually, I have it upstairs. It's the worst car in the world. It's it's an actual on its own DVD. Okay, no, okay, I saw that. That that was like a kind of apart from the show thing. Yeah, I'm talking about like the, the the specials where like it was like the whole episode, but they went somewhere and it was like, the whole episode was like one fucking big long film. Those are my favorite episodes. Yes, those are the, the best the, episodes. The American episode was like one of the best things. That oh yeah, it was, it was, it was <laughs> awesome. It was so fucking good, man. Like it was. It was I like the like, second one where he's just so like uh, Clarkson's like saying that he really is liking the Corvette. 
and he just yells out, "Well done, Fat Man from Kentucky. This is a masterpiece." <laughs> My, I, uh, I, I, I love the North Pole. That was glorious. I love some of the small little tidbits they add to, like when he was driving around the smallest car in the world, because it's Clarkson who's a fucking gorilla, and he's, <laughs> he's in the car, you know, and people are picking it up and turning it on him and shit, and. Oh, no, he like drove that one like right into the fucking BBC offices, I think. Yeah, yeah. And that was awesome. No one stole the or, car. Yeah, yeah the, the one where uh, what the the uh, the three wheeled fucking car. I can't think of the name of it. Talking the Reliant oh, Robin. Yes. No. Yeah. no, that was it. Yes, and he's driving that one. And he keeps knocking and, it. He keeps flipping and, it over. And random, like the, the the like Jeremy Clarkson is like way more of a celebrity than you think he is, kind of thing. Like he knows. I only just see pull that stop and help him are all yeah, like A list and B list, like famous, famous people that he just gets to be part of his fucking stupid shit. Like he did a the, review the episode, on the episode they went and they did the backyard of the actual Olympian. That was I think that I think again that, that was an episode. That was like some fundraising thing. I saw that though. And they like re they like uh, landscaped his backyard very yeah, well, by landscaping you mean they destroyed his backyard. Yes. <laughs> that was that was a good one. That was just like, that was a rhyming thing, like something for something fundraising thing that they were kind of hosting. I remember that. That yeah, was good stuff. They they've done so, uh, the, the lorry driver one where they were all becoming truck drivers, and each truck had something stupid in the back of it, and they and had the it not caught on fire. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and and uh, Richard Hammond so Richard no, Hammond I, completely I, lost the car. Okay, my computer like kind of like went crazy for a second. Middle, middle front, I don't know. Uh, drunken one, have you ever watched uh, Top Gear? No, I have not. Okay, oh. it's, so middle front is probably completely right. He says he's hazarding a guess that him and Drunken One have no idea what we're talking about. I have. It's it's a it's a British show. It's a British show about cars, and it's a car show for non-car people. Yeah, like it, it's <laughs> yeah. about cars, but like it, it's about cars, but at the same time, it's. It's you basically watch a it, not, show. No, it, well, yeah, it's the the, th the the three hosts. That is the show, basically, like their personalities, and again, like the specials where it's just like the three of them off in the wilderness somewhere doing their thing. Yeah, I, those the are African, just the African special where they had to cross the desert and they're putting fucking raw meat in each other's cars to get lions to attack them and stuff. Yeah, man, like just it is so much. Like, yeah, and they 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 turn up, they fuck each other. They fuck the, with one, each other the in Korean such special. Ways. The Korean special where if they bought a present for the other person, he had to carry it on their motorcycle and they bought that fucking giant, giant replica. The, the ship thing, yeah. Yeah, the giant <laughs> ship for Richard Hammond. Uh, <laughs> that, that, was, that, was, that was Vietnam, not Korea, wasn't that it? Was, you're right, Vietnam. Okay. Oh. I still love how like James May they put like a I love Hillary bumper sticker or something like that on his car. Well, no, was it, wasn't that, was it wasn't a bumper sticker. They fucking spray painted that shit. Yeah, they spray painted it with oh, pink yeah. spray paint. And then like like they were getting like like there was a whole section. I, I think it was kind of staged, but where, like the cameras went out and they had to run away and stuff because they were getting people getting all pissed off and throwing rocks and shit at them. Oh no, no, that that wasn't staged because they weren't they were supposed to do three episodes in the US and they weren't allowed to do the second one because they had police called the first Is time. Is that actually cuz I knew that the, yeah, next, yeah, the that's next time true. the next time they went to the states there was this whole thing where like they weren't allowed to be entertaining. They had yeah. to be factual, which that's, was fucking that was hilarious. But No, no, that, that was that not was them that, screwing around. That was the truth. And that wasn't a special that time. That was like just like one of their kind of films that was put throughout the show like they normally do. But yeah, that was the time where they went back to America and they were trying to see if America had I built have, a I car. I have 10 minutes left before I have to go snuggle up with my honey bun. What should I drink? One, two, three, or four? One. Three. Sorry. Four. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't one came first, so that's what it's going to be. Steeped coffee ale. Oh, God. Uh, Our condolences. Well, who knows? This may be a fine sleep. Oh, it's, it's actually not bad. It's not. Good. You had that one before, like just when I was coming in, you were having that one. I think. Oh, yeah? You know what's weird, though? I, I have always enjoyed the ergonomic nature of the Sleeman bottle. 
with yeah, my the, with the, the hook of my finger, I could I can hold it very comfortably in my hand like that because it has that that fucking bulb here. Hold it up. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, I, will kind of, I, will, I will kind of agree with you that the Sleeman's bottles are yes. nice bottles. <laughs> the fact gone. that they're fucking all clear. That was terrible. <laughs> that's a bit of a not, not what, good thing. What I will say, though, is that their six packs are completely covered. They're in a box. Like, a, yeah, yeah. Yes. They, they're, they're not an exposed uh, carrier or anything like that. So, still, though, like, I know. It's like why? a good model. Why? Because they're not. They're just catering to the masses. I just covered my box. God damn that. With, so... That's good. Is she I okay with that? I just covered my box with my with my pants so that the beer does not go bad. She, she just um, like, she's actually, laying, she just laying you, like waiting for you like that and just cover up like do that. Do you know like what the name of my penis is according to the internet? Don't want to know. I Jack like the I'll, Dripper. Don't want to know. Disturbing. I call mine the banana mole. You call yours what? Wow. The banana mole. Nope. Don't want to know any of this. It's like a banana. Banana mole. Banana mole. I like it. What? Jesus. I stole from Corner Brian. I really hope that Jamie's watching this. I really hope he's <laughs> not. But I'm pretty sure he watches everything. <laughs> that, 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 that super cut thing that Jamie put together from last night's after chat was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> uh, but I, the way I, when I remember starting, the way I started it with the whole like. Was uh, that on the yeah. after chat or is that actually on the live chat? I'm pretty sure that was the. Well, that we were live. That, it, was, that, it was live after chat. That was. Uh, Whose mom did you want to fuck in the ass? Right? I don't. I can't remember what was happening. It was just, yeah. Well, then I, I woke up in the morning and like looked in the sink. That's where like I, my empty beer cans go when I'm done. That's about <laughs> stuff. That's how like I tell how much did I drink last night. I only had fucking four beers last night, and I got what? fucking sloshed. <laughs> <laughs> like I had, I had, I had, I had a long dark void to Uranus before the chat started, and I had the blue, and then I had the sour beer, and then I had the second long dark voyage. And I was fucking hammered, man. Those long dark voyages to Uranus will do well, me right in. Those are like, at <laughs> least you didn't have a bloody long dark voyage to Uranus. I've oh. never had a bloody long dark a bloody long dark this voyage was, to Uranus. These were my victims from last night. One, two, three, four, five king cans, and then a homebrew. Yeah. So I, I, just call those, I, call hey, I, I know where we're actually sitting right now. No, yeah, I'm in my basement. <laughs> so I, I got to do something with the back wall here. I got to put something on this wall so it's not just my head disappearing. Yeah, just uh, put a. Uh, I'm sure. Graffiti, you have... graffiti yeah. artwork, shit. Yeah, yeah. I have some. Uh, I have some of my floorboards left. I'm gonna put them up. A ask a blind guy to do some graffiti. See what happens. Yeah, put some floorboards <laughs> up on the wall. That's super exciting. What the fuck are you even thinking? It'll, what the it's hell is my, I bought barn board, so it'll look nice. It'll look nice. Okay, there. okay, okay, okay. That that that's. Don't you have floorboards? Don't you have like some random beer paraphernalia, like so like a? I don't no, but no, I don't, no, no, no. Put, put, I gave it all away or threw it out. Put well, the put just, the barn boards up in that little corner. That that's actually cool. It's not floorboards, like you said. They can be, but barn board floorboard. That that's cool. And then like. Start to put up put some senator paraphernalia like, shit up there with some thumbtack something eventually. Just a logo on there or something like that. I don't want to admit to being a senator's fan the way they're playing right now. <laughs> oh no, but dude, 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 dude. Put, 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 put up got blown out by the rain. Put up the background of the fucking floorboard shit, and then burn in the albino rhino fucking logo somewhere into that shit. That'd be cool. Or, or or just use like a sharpie and do it if you don't want to burn it in. But it'd be cool either way. I think Red Beer just wants you to burn your house down. Hey, we should uh we should go and get some free beers. Oh yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Actually, it was great. <laughs> yeah, not a problem. Uh, so. The, the great thing is, with these things, whenever they get redeemed, they go back to the guy that gave them to you. So Nick sent these to me. Nick is the head of Innocent Gun Canada. I would find it hysterical for the ones that he sent me for the free beers to go back with, like, say, Ashley Sexton's name on it. And he could sit there going, who the fuck is Ashley? I didn't send these to him. Who's that guy? Well, I might as well send him some more beer, too. <laughs> no one ever sends me free beer. <laughs> 
Nor should they. Don't worry, it's very rarely sent to me. I'm not like I'm not like Redbeard. I don't get all this free shit. Wow. I haven't gotten you a while. It's Christmas coming soon. Who knows? Maybe there'll be some random Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What what did I do, middle front? Jesus, Chad, nice timing. Wife just walked into my computer room. I just have some explaining to do now. Oh, that my my penis is named Jack the Dripper? Yes. There you go. Exactly what nice. I <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, I gotta finish this beer and go. So, uh, yeah, what should we talk about for the next two minutes? That weird beer that drunken one's drinking. Oh, yeah, that's my... Uh, well, it's supposed to be a red ale. It didn't quite come out as red as... Well, maybe... It, Looks like it on the screen. There. No, it doesn't, it doesn't look red on the screen. It looks it brown. Looks like brown ale, huh? It, it looks, looks like some kind of milkshake brown ale. Here's yeah, the thing, though. I'm not sure. It was in the recipe book, and I followed it, and I've done it before, but I remember it being more red. Now, red ales are funny like that. They, they never really are red. It's just a different shade of brown. I guess so, yeah. I mean, it, I guess if you think red, maybe it, you can kind of... See it? I don't know. <laughs> Does it it's like it, it's not bad in flavor. It's just all right. Uh, all right. Next time, if I do it, I'll do like uh, put some red X or something in there. Something that'll short turn the color. 